Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Guess what we got on the menu today, y'all? Guess what we got on the menu today? Today, we're going to make a good old grilled cheese sandwich, okay? So let's get into it. And we got a calorie count. So how are you guys doing? How are you feeling? Do you make grilled cheese sandwiches? Do you even like them? Let me tell you what I have here. <clears throat> I've got some of this good old bread, and I have slathered it with some mayo. So this is what we're going to do. Put it down there. I've got my griddle on 325. And I've got some smoked turkey meat. <clears throat> and I've got two types of cheese. One's white American and one is yellow American. And I'm just gonna put this on. This is gonna be a quick video, y'all. It's not gonna be long at all. We got cheese on there so they can now. That's a lot of cheese though. Just the FYI. That's a lot of cheese. I was thinking about, <clears throat> you know, I was talking about my um, taco truck, my taco trailer. And one of my coworkers said, well, why don't you uh, start it down here? I didn't think that far. So now that's something that I'm going to uh, check into maybe doing some vendor stuff at like the uh, fair park when things start to open back up. So this is supposed to be two ounces of meat. I'm like, hmm. That is not like a good idea. Yep, yep, yep. So, each piece of bread is 110 calories, you guys. The two ounces of meat is supposed to be 60 calories. Um, the one serving of mayo, which is one take, uh, tablespoon, is supposed to be 90 calories. So, with the bread and the um, mayo, it's supposed to be, what is that, 220 plus 90, which is 310, plus the 60. Okay? makes it 370. Okay. Yes, I'm using my nails. So we're at 370, right? Now each slice of cheese is 50 calories a piece. And we've got four slices of cheese, y'all. Uh -uh. What was it? 370 plus 200. So 570 calories for this sandwich. See, I wonder. Ooh, that's perfect. That's perfect, y'all. Can y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Let me turn it off. And just that quick, y'all. We're done. No need to Uber Eats, y'all. Just go get you some uh, bread. Some nice bread and some good eats, y'all. That started to melt. Yep, that sure did. So let's see. Let's cut this open. Let's see what we got. There we go. So what do y'all think about that idea? Okay, come on in. Uh oh. It definitely didn't cut too good, y'all. There we go. There we go, y'all. Oh, you can't see my face. That's going to be good. Okay. All right, y'all. All right, you know what? Let me plate it up. Hold on. I'm plate it up and we'll do another thumbnail. All right, y'all. Now we'll get a thumbnail. What y'all think about that one?
Good focus. All right, y'all. Let's see what we got going here. That's still hot, so. Let's go. We're back to the truck, you guys. Our title. Actually, I actually bring out concession stands at different events and test my tacos. It's a very, very smart idea. Mr. W, if you're watching this video, thanks for that idea. I appreciate it. So I can see when these events are going to open back up. And then um, what I'm thinking is, I know I'm going to need a couple of Instapods. I'm going to need a griddle. Or actually, the booth will need to have a griddle or I'll need to bring my own griddle. And uh, a refrigeration. And that's pretty much it. Just bring my utensils. And then try my recipes. So, well, and then right now I need to be applying for my food handler's license. So, yeah. Do some, like, some events for on the weekend or on the weekend or, um, if they have something in the evening, that'd be doable. That'd be doable. We're going to try. I know one guy, he had like a soul food truck. He um, sold stuffed wings. Some of his wings were stuffed with boudin, broccoli and cheese, different things like that. And then deep fried. And he was like, he can make five or $10,000 a day. You know, but he's also sitting out there all day. So we're looking more like on the part-time side. But if I don't get started and try, I ain't going to know how it's going to go. So I'm definitely going to like, throw my hat in the arena and see if there's something for me. I don't know if you've seen the video already, but... One of my co-workers had me sponsor um, a Friday night dinner. And uh, you guys, they were happy. I mean, they said don't change anything. So I am looking for a little bit more tougher critics. Um, because if I'm doing something that if there's something I can do better, I'd rather somebody tell me before I, I jump all feet in and, uh, you know, make a big mistake, you know. So I'm up for criticism, you know. Good, bad, ugly. I'm up for it. Let me know what I can do better. I'm not perfect, but I'm working on it. All right? Being the best me I can be. You guys, don't forget to be blessed, stay blessed, and be a blessing to somebody else. And remember, if you don't try, that's the only way you can fail. Okay? And it's not what you do now that affects you now. It's what you do now that has effects later. So, try, try, try. Remember, wear your mask, wash your hands, and what? Wash your ass. Until next time, y'all. Peace.